So one of the games here on the title Legends 2 disc that I play quite a bit when I pop this into my PS2 is a game called Camel Tree. And you're probably wondering, if you haven't heard of it before, what the heck is Camel Tree? What is that even about? Well, it's basically like a labyrinth game. You have to tilt a maze around a ball, and you have to guide the ball from the beginning to the goal within a certain amount of time. Uh, there are certain obstacles you have to overcome or avoid, uh, including targets you can hit that lower the amount of time that you have remaining. It's a pretty challenging game. It's a lot of fun to play, although it is very simple. But Camel Tree, what... I don't get it. A lot of other people didn't get it. And I didn't get it as well, even though it's a game that I'd always wanted for my Super Nintendo. Aha! I now have it for my Super Nintendo, and because we're doing this for Unsealed, I'm super excited because it's sealed! We are going to open up a copy of On the Ball, which is Camel Tree, for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, this looks like it was released in 1992, uh, and this is an official title release, and you can see on the back of the box here what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. Uh, you basically have to tilt the maze around the ball. It's not where you're moving the ball through the maze, kind of like uh, Marble Madness. Uh, this is more manipulating the maze to be able to get the ball where you want it to go. So it's pretty neat that way. And the thing that always fascinated me about this and the reason I always wanted it and never got it because I, I have no reason for that, but uh, it's very mode seven heavy because there's a lot of rotation going on. Uh, you have to rotate the maze in a circular fashion, either clockwise or counterclockwise to be able to get the ball to move where it is that you want it to move. Um, I wanted this game. I don't have any excuses. I just, I never got around to buying it. Maybe it's because I really didn't see it in stores that much. Maybe there was a limited press run. I don't know what the deal was. I don't have any excuses. But here we are 26 years later, and now I finally have this in my possession. It is a sealed copy, which means that we get to open up a game that's more than 25 years old, and I'm really excited about that. So we'll take a look at the back of the box here. Again, just one more time for the camera. And there is a, uh, there is a description description here. Uh, on the ball, time to rock and roll. On the ball brings you fast-paced arcade action like never before. Cascade through multiple levels of intense brain-busting rounds that feature tricks, traps, and killer dead ends. Gravity takes a whole new spin as you manipulate the 3D fields to guide the ball through the final hidden goal. Build up enough momentum and you'll blast through bricks to protect shortcuts and valuable bonuses. But beware, time is the ultimate enemy as you race the clock to defeat the puzzles. Danger lurks in every course as you navigate past timer drains, power bumpers, and rock-hard bricks. Follow the guide arrows to safety and prove to everyone that you're really on the ball. So you share the excitement in the awesome two-player mode, control three levels of speed, fast, really fast, and watch out. I, I didn't write this. Uh, password feature saves you from starting from scratch. Eh, it's another one of those password games. That's eh, okay. Uh, dozens of mind-bending courses that will challenge the toughest of players. Yeah, I'm still a little stuffed up. Sorry about that. Um, that's why I'm going to try and make this a little bit on the shorter side. This still has the hang tab, by the way. So if I wanted to open this or if I wanted to keep this instead of opening it, I could just hang it on my wall. But that's not what we do here. Uh, we buy these games so we can open them up. So let's go ahead and we're going to do that right now. Uh, this is exciting. I've been sitting on this for a little bit. There we go. Oops. Just like, oh yeah. Take that. Bye-bye. Yeah, there it is. And we're going to open up the box here and see if there's anything cool inside. Uh, let's see. And it doesn't really, no, nope, nothing extra. So that's the box right there. Uh, I'll show you the cartridge here in just a second. Uh, there is the cartridge right there with the Super Nintendo cartridge protector. Pretty cool. Uh, we have the uh, Nintendo Power subscription uh, advertisement. I'll get to that one in a minute. Uh, also, the uh, Consumer Information and Precautions booklet, which no one ever read. Everyone just threw this away. Uh, we have a Taito advertisement. Catch the Taito Wave, six new games. Let's see what these games are. Uh, this does open up, and it's not really a poster, unfortunately. It's more just like a fold-out. Uh, so when we open this up, let's see, we'll just open it up like this first. So you got Hit the Ice and the Jetsons listed there, uh, as well as Power Blade 2, a game that's stupid expensive, I think, for the uh, 
NES now. And we open this up further and we fold it out. We've got Toki Panic Restaurant, The Flintstones, The Rescue of Dino and Hoppy, and Little Samson. <laughs> oh, where is it? There it is. There's a little Sam Samson advertisement. Good luck affording that now. Uh, I can take out a mortgage on your house to be able to afford that. Uh, and then when we open this even further, that's when we get the uh, the Super Nintendo and Game Boy stuff. And I'll try and draw this back a little bit so you can kind of see. Um, so that's what you got there. And we have uh, Darius Twin, great game. Uh, Super Soccer Champ uh, on the ball, which I just opened up. Hit the Ice for both Game Boy and Super Nintendo. I have Hit the Ice for the Genesis. I don't have the SNES version yet. need to get on that. Uh, Night Quest, is that an RPG? Uh, it looks kind of like an RPG. Uh, Chase HQ, one of my favorite title games. Uh, title Beach Volley, which is basically Beach Volleyball. And Star Saver, which, uh, oh boy. Has your mom or dad ever made you dress up in a suit? Well, yeah. Uh, it's a drag. Okay. Well, you can change all of that by stepping into the Tom Wolf robot suit. The Ironclad Armor, Jetpacks, Super Speed, and Incredible Bungee Cords, B-U-N-G-Y. I always thought it was I-E. Whatever. Uh, cords, C-H-O-R-D-S. Oh, boy. I want to see if I can show you this on camera. Let's see if I can get it close enough. Yeah, it's... <laughs> this is a mess. Uh, we'll ha let you go bonkers on those nasty aliens, because that's what we want to do here. Uh, reach for the Stars, Battling... Baffling? No. Yeah, Baffling Bungee Jumping. I don't know what's baffling about it. Uh, Rockin' Robot Power and Mega Metal Madness. So apparently they're going for the alliterative properties here uh, when they're advertising this uh, Star Saver game. So uh, that's the uh, the title booklet. And then, of course, we have the instruction manual, which is right here. Now, the instruction manual is in color, which is pretty cool. Uh, there it is, at least the first page. Uh, so on the ball is a Hyper Sensation Ball Race against time hyper sensation okay you have complete freedom and control to maneuver the ball around a maze map maze like map of twists turns and dead ends essentially the ball falls from top to bottom and changes direction by following the contours of the map you must follow you must reach the goal before the clock runs out of time to clear the round and advance to the next map when you clear all the rounds in the course you clear the course when all four displayed courses have been cleared you move on to the next plane so that's that's kind of interesting. The arcade version of the game, I think, has three planes or maybe four. Uh, they're basically levels of difficulty. Um, and after the first two, once we get to hard, I think, that's when I really struggle. I don't know about the Super Nintendo. I'll have to find out. Uh, so basically, it looks like you use the left and right arrows. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, turning to the left... Up left or oh, okay, so there are different there are different speeds that you can turn the uh, that you can turn the maze. That's interesting. Uh, either left or right. Plus you can shake or jump. Okay, all right. One or two players, like we mentioned. There's a password feature here for each plane. Uh, and yeah, that's I don't know I, I, if you can see that there, but it's just like the arcade game: training course, beginner, uh, expert, and special in that order. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, this is the arcade game. There's no question about it. And that's fine because the arcade game is really cool. Now, this is interesting. I did not notice this. You can use the mouse controller, too, if you'd like. If you have the Super Nintendo mouse for uh, for Mario Paint, you can use that. And I do have a Super Nintendo mouse, so maybe I'll have to check that out. So that's pretty neat. Uh, again, I missed out on this when the game was new. Uh, my fascination really... Uh, came from reading about it in magazines like EGM, and anytime a magazine would you know talk about you know mode seven, mode seven, I was all over it, which is one of the ways I got in trouble with NFL football from Konami, a game that boasted mode seven but was utter crap. Uh, you can read about that in a certain Super Nintendo guidebook that'll hopefully be released next year. Um, but I never got around to buying it. I did get a loose copy of the game from Retro World Expo a couple of years ago, and I played it once or twice. But when I found the sealed copy of the game on eBay and there was a 10% off coupon or whatever it was, uh, I knew that it was something that I wanted to jump on and open up for the show. First of all, because it's a sealed Super Nintendo game and I don't get to do a lot of those. And B, it's a game that I wanted back then. And to be able to have the opportunity to open it up for the first time and check out all the cool stuff in it and to look through the instruction manual uh, and to share these memories with you, uh, that's the reason why I do this whole thing and why it's so enjoyable. 
So curiously, have you ever played this? Love to hear from you if you've played this or maybe Camel Tree on uh, Title Legends 2. Uh, let me know what you think of it. Uh, it is an interesting arcade game, and it's one that I do recommend trying if you have the ability to do so. For many of you, it would probably be through Title Legends 2, but if you have a Super Nintendo, on the ball is a fun way to check it out. Really appreciate you guys checking out my work on Unsealed. Uh, I still have more videos coming, despite the fact that I'm battling through a uh, an infection here. I do have a new series of videos that will be starting very shortly, uh, which is going to be talking about another one of my favorite genres of video game. And I have several of them to open up for you on the show. So until that next time comes, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care of yourselves. See you later.